What up, BSG? So today we're gonna get uh get busy in this thing. We got some marks. I kind of tore this up here, messed this up here, and all that. We're gonna scuff all this, everything. I had to put a little dent here in order for my for my uh, brake booster to fit, and um, we're just gonna redo everything, man. We're gonna scuff this, all this. Then we're gonna scuff this hood. We're not gonna scuff the underside. We're gonna scuff the top side. And then uh, we're gonna get on to doing, scuffing the, uh, the whole car, getting ready for primer. So, again. So, let's get to it. Put y'all in time lapse. Let's go.
So, y'all see what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm about to put some more filler here. What I put on here is metal filler. But what I'm about to put on here is my lightweight icing. So I'm gonna go back over this here. This here is a whole lot easier to sand. But I'm gonna smooth this down to get the lumps out of it and everything. And then we're gonna uh, get back to it. We're gonna, matter of fact, I think I'm gonna bump this down a little more because of my my crap, they gotta go in there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all. <coughs> yep. Let me go over here and get what I need to get. <coughs> Alright guys, so as y'all can see here, this is what we need to put in here. And we are extremely Get your ass in. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. After I took the bolts out, this damn thing adjusted. But this thing got to go up in here. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's real tight up in here. Real tight. So, but I just got to fix that there. Well, line it back up because once I took the bolts out of it, this crap shifted. And I can't move it like I want to. But... You see it. It's gonna go in there and uh, <clears throat> we'll be good to go. Cause it's bigger than what, uh, this car is 85. This piece here is a 93 piece, so. And I, I got this for disc brakes. <clears throat> because the 85 had drums in the back. Now, so, let me uh, get this here finished up, guys, and uh, I'll bring you back because I know that sanding is boring. I've been doing it for a few days, man, and I'm I'm sick of it. So we're gonna get through, we're gonna get this here fixed up like it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna uh I believe the next step would be getting back to priming. I'm thinking I'm gonna take these off too, man. That's what I'm thinking. But I need them right now to hold this damn hood up. But I think I'm gonna end up taking them off. Yep. All right, man. Too much thinking, not enough working. So we're gonna get back to it. What's up, BSG? So welcome back to the video. We are about to do some stuff here. We're about to start setting up some prime in here, but I need to cover you guys up. So let me cover you up and I hope my mic don't go out. My bad. Cover you guys up there. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. There we go. So now, so. Luckily, I did, we're going through this because I'm going to take you guys over here. 
as you can see here hold on guys as you can see here this dang thing here let me see if I can get y'all down bring y'all down all right you see this this thing here when I went to just lightly sand over it it started bubbling I have no idea as to reason why this shit bubbled but I had to sand all that shit off of there I done blew it off everything already the only thing I got left to do now is we got a uh, wax and grease remove degreaser then we gonna Then we're going to set up some dang primer. And then we're going to get down to business. Man, I'm hoping this thing is looking right now. Uh, right now, I can't tell if that damn shit is being right or not. But hopefully, it's good to go. All right. So, I'm going to set y'all up over here out of the way. And uh, we're going to do some wax and grease remover. Then we're going to set our primer up, like I said. And then we're going to start spraying, y'all. We're going to start spraying. So, I'm going to wax and grease remove. And then uh, I'll bring y'all back when I'm getting ready to uh, do this uh, priming. Because I'm trying to save on my battery, man. Because it's hot. And uh, I don't want uh, to lose y'all in the midst of me doing primer. So, I'll bring y'all right back.
right guys so there you go i'm not done yet i gotta do another i'm probably gonna do two more coats but we're gonna call this video in because my wife is in the house tripping she's saying the fumes is too much i still gotta do that front end so um yeah so we gotta end this video right here man but just know i'm gonna put two or three more uh coats on here and then uh we gonna lay down our guide coat and then we're gonna get the uh <laughs> getting it in all right so so that way my brother is coming here in a couple of months that way when he come we can paint we can put the motor back in um yeah but right now this thing is gonna he gonna be here for a week should i say so within a week period i think when he get here we'll paint it first paint should say base coat clear coat oh another thing about that too so i went back to the painter shop should i say the painter store i got paint some more paint and uh i asked the guy i said um man i'm just having all kind of trouble man um with this uh paint um you know not actually trouble but it's to me it's not laying down correctly or it's either it's too hot outside and it's streaking up real fast you know or something and he said uh he asked me was i putting hardener in it i said yeah i'm putting hardener in it he said well you don't need to this here is is ready to spray Here's your sign. So, I've been adding hardener when there's no hardener needed. Um, it's just spray it, clear coat it, and we're good. But somehow in all the mischief of what I was doing, that engine bay turned out correctly. Well, it turned out decent because once I wet, not wet sand, but once I sanded this area, I could see all the 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 running of the paint and all kind of stuff like that which i'd never seen prior to but we're gonna get this thing going here man let me see if i can raise this up i did paint up under up under the hood here because there's no need because it's gonna be covered but you can see what's going on in there and we should be good to go where is my oh here we go ah! oh jesus christ as i see it i got a couple more sprays here but and up here in the front but that's okay we'll get to that oh yeah i hope y'all can see that we'll get to that when we spray again but it's done for the day man my wife ain't putting up with no more for today. So I uh I gotta honor that and I gotta I gotta call it quits. So uh with all that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. And like I said, man, when y'all see it again, we will be doing some painting, engine installing, front suspension install. So be on the lookout y'all but other than that we're going to get on to some other cars all right so like comment subscribe man we're going to catch y'all on the next one peace